So I'm sure that you guys have seen all of these Nano Banana and VO3 videos trending everywhere. What if you want an entire content marketing team that was working for you 24 seven and they could just give out incredible content constantly? Then let's say you were working for Red Bull, you know, the global brand Red Bull, the ones that give you wings. So this is the kind of ad that you would usually see from Red Bull. Now that was also created using this tool, but let's take it a step further. Let's say the new Jurassic Park movie is about to come out and they wanted to incorporate Jurassic Park into the Red Bull ads. Well, if they wanted a poster, they could do this and they would get this image. So now let's say they wanted to turn that into a video or an ad. You would use that same image and you would just simply say, make it into a video and then this is what you would get. Now you see the Jurassic Park dinosaurs and you still see the Red Bull, but that doesn't really go with the slogan of Red Bull, since they say it gives you wings. So what if we want to incorporate the gives you wings part with the can and turn it into an ad? Now you get this. So you guys can already see the endless possibilities with this incredible myth. Now what if I told you creating this is so much easier than you think. All you need is Telegram on your phone and you simply just need some creativity. And here's the best part. You can get this entire automation for completely free. I already made it for you guys. And all you guys are gonna need to do is you need to go into the first link in the description below so that you can join our free school community. So once you are on this page, all you need to do is go to the classroom section and then you can find all of the templates that we already made. So go over there, find the template that you want and then simply just click on it. Here you can see all the details and you can find the visual framework. And if you scroll down, you can find the JSON template and all the links that you need. But right now guys, let's get into creating our full content marketing team. Okay guys, so let me just give you a quick little overview of what this content marketing automation actually does and how it works, okay? So the first thing that you guys need to know is that we actually have a Telegram bot, okay? And it's gonna act as a personal content creation assistant and you can basically just send it text prompts, you can send it images or specific requests. And then the coolest thing is it's going to automatically determine what type of content you want to create. So guys, when you actually send it a text message on Telegram and if you don't use the word video, then what's gonna happen is the system uses Nano Banana to generate high quality quality images from your text prompt. So basically, if you send it and you don't use the word video, it's going to give you an image, okay? If you want a video, then just use the word video in your actual prompt itself, okay? And basically guys, if you do send it a photo and you don't specify what you actually want, what it's gonna do is it's automatically going to just enhance that image. So the idea is you just wanna be as specific as possible with the prompts that you are putting in, okay? And when it comes to video content, if you send a text message containing the word video, then the automation uses Google VO3's model to create videos directly from your text description. And, and guys, here's where it gets really powerful, okay? So if you send an image with a caption that contains video as a keyword, then it converts that static image into an awesome looking video using VO3's image to video technology. So the coolest thing is guys, that the system that it's using, it actually includes intelligent polling mechanisms. And that is what checks the status of your content generation. And then it waits about 10 seconds before getting the status again. And this is basically just going to ensure that your content is properly processed before the delivery. So after that guys, finally, the last step of all is once the content is actually ready, then whether it's an image or a video, the bot automatically sends it to you over Telegram. So that basically creates the entire complete content marketing workflow that can run 24 seven. And as you guys can see, it's pretty simple. You're going onto Telegram, you're sending in a message, you are making sure that you are either using the word image or video, you're being specific, and then you actually get the thing within a couple of seconds. Now that's insane and it's pretty easy. So let me show you guys how to do it. So guys, we are going to import the automation inside our N810, okay? So the first thing that you need to do is you need to download the free template and then you want to go to your N810 dashboard and you want to click on create a new workflow. And then you want to make sure that you click on the three dots right above that. So now you can see the import from file. Here we want to upload the 
recently downloaded a JSON file. Okay, and then guys, once the file is uploaded into N8N, you can see some red nodes. These are the only nodes that you need to adjust because the rest is already pre-built for you guys. And now we're gonna get onto the Telegram bot creation, okay? The Telegram bot acts as your main interface for your content creation system. So this is where you'll send your requests and receive your generated content, okay? Like I said before, guys. Now, step one is you're gonna create your Telegram bot itself. Okay, so you're gonna open up Telegram, then you're gonna search at Botfather. So this is basically just Telegram's official bot creation service. So you're gonna start the conversation and you're gonna send the command slash new bot. Okay, then you're gonna follow Botfather's instructions. You're gonna choose a name for your bot like my content creator, for example. Then you're gonna choose a username ending in bot. So kind of like my content content creator underscore bot. And then you're gonna copy the bot token that bot father provides. It should look something like this. And you're gonna keep this token safe because you are going to be needing it for the next step, okay? And now it's time for us to configure everything. So you're gonna click on the red TG trigger node in your workflow in the parameters panel. Then you're gonna click create new credential. Then you're going to select Telegram API from the drop down, And then you're going to paste your bot token from step one into the access token field. And then you're gonna name your credential something like my telegram bot okay then you're going to click save and you're going to make sure that this credential is selected in the tg trigger node so we're getting on to the next step and that is apply telegram credentials to send nodes okay so you'll see several red telegram nodes that send content back to you stuff like send a photo message send a photo send a photo message one send a video one stuff like that for each of these nodes you are going to click on the red node and then in the credentials drop down select the my telegram bot credential that you just created then you're going to save the node and you're going to repeat it for all the telegram send nodes now we're getting on to the next step guys which is setting up fell ai api okay so for this it's important to set up the fell ai credentials because this is the service that runs nano banana and vo3 models so you'll need api access to generate images and videos this is a paid service but they do offer free credits to get started, okay? So let's walk through how to set all of this up. So the first thing that we need to do is create our Fell AI account and get our API key. So let's go to the Fell AI in your browser, click sign up to create a free account, and then once you're logged in, navigate to your dashboard and look for the API keys section in the menu. And then you're gonna click add key, you're gonna add a description for your key, and and you're gonna click create key and then you're gonna copy this API key and keep it secure because we'll need it for the very next step. Now we need to configure these credentials in N8N, okay? So you'll see multiple red HTTPS request nodes that need this credential and these handle different parts of the content generation process. We have the generate image nano banana node that creates images from text, the generate video VO3 node that creates videos from the text and the edit image nano banana node that enhances uploaded images and the generate video from image node that converts images to videos. For each of these red HTTPS request nodes, click on the node and scroll down to find authentication section. And then you're gonna click create new credential and select HTTPS header auth from the drop down. And then now you're gonna configure the credential with the header name as authorization and the header value as key, followed by your actual Fell AI API key. So name this credential Fell AI API and click save. And then you're gonna make sure that this credential is selected in the node and repeat this process for all the red HTTPS request nodes. So it's important to make sure that you apply the same Fell AI credential to every HTTPS request node because this actually ensures that all parts of the workflow can communicate with the AI services properly. Okay, and now guys, we're getting on to part four, which is setting up the bot token configuration. So some of the nodes in the workflow have hard-coded bot tokens in the image URLs that need to be updated 
with your specific bot token. Okay, so look for the nodes like generate video film image and edit image nano banana that contains image underscore URL parameters. So click on these nodes and look for the JSON body section and you'll see image underscore URL that looks something like this. Okay, so now guys, what you are going to need to do is you are going to need to replace the token part with your own bot token. So you can change it to image underscore URL. Okay, and then remember to keep the word bot before pasting your token. So it should look like bot followed immediately by your bot token without any spaces. Make sure to update this in all the nodes that have image underscore URL parameters and this ensures the workflow can properly access the images that you upload to your Telegram bot. And now we're getting on to the next step guys. So before we start using our automation, it's important to actually verify everything works correctly. So let's go through some of the testing steps. So first we need to verify our fell ai credits okay so log into your fell ai dashboard and then check your credit balance or your billing section make sure that you have sufficient credits for testing um, because image generation typically costs around one to five cents per image so if you need more credits you can add them through their billing system okay so now we're getting to the exciting part now we can test the actual content generation okay so you can send a simple text to your bot like a cat wearing sunglasses and then guys you're just gonna wait about 30 to 60 seconds for the image generation to take place and now guys let me go over some important things just to keep in mind okay and it's usually like the common table shooting steps okay so for credit management remember that the image generation costs around one to five cents per image so that sounds pretty cheap and then you get video generation which costs about 50 cents to two dollars per video so make sure to monitor your fell ai usage to avoid any unexpected charges so some common issues that you might encounter if red nodes persist after setup then just double check that credentials are properly saved and selected and i mean if your bot doesn't respond then just verify that your bot token is correct and that the tg trigger node is active and if content generation fails then just check your fell ai credit balance and also your api key validity and don't worry if you have like some long waiting times usually it's pretty normal for video generation to take about let's say two to five minutes it does take a bit longer than the actual images being created but as long as you can see guys that the quality you get is still there so that little bit of a wait is worth it in the end so here's how the whole workflow behavior works okay so text without video generates an image text with video generates a video if you're just giving it an image then you're gonna get an enhancement of that image if you give it images plus a caption and then it creates a video from the actual image so the system automatically determines your intent based on the input type okay so this really does make it so much more user friendly and also it just shows how smart this tool really is so guys once all the red nodes show green and your test messages work correctly then your automated content marketing team is ready to generate professional images and incredible videos on demand using just your creativity and your telegram so guys didn't i tell you that all of this was so easy and the fun thing is guys when you start using it you are going to go down a rabbit hole of just creating some of the most amazing things this is just a couple of examples of what we created today but imagine what you can create and guys once you created let us know in the comments what you guys did and also let us know what do you think of nano banana and vo3 and also this method and don't forget guys you can join our free school community the link is in the description below guys and guys if you are in the mood for some more Zinho media then here's another video that's popping up on the screen right now that you can check out guys i'm ty and i will catch you on the next one